The Data Cloud Diaries, creating a streaming insight. Welcome back to the Data Cloud Diaries. We're getting near the finish of the process. Now we're looking at creating streaming insights. These are calculations that are gonna be run as records come in, which will create small blocks that we can then send and act on in near real time. So the first step of this is creating the streaming insight, and that's what we're gonna do today. So we're just gonna do a quick run through of the setup for the streaming insights. We have an inject, we have a ingestion API for my airport traffic. This we've seen configured in a previous video. Then we have a data stream here. So this is a mapped data stream that has it in. And you see that I've brought in 189,000 records. And then what we can do is this data stream maps to the data lake. And here is going to be the data model object and our data model object right here, which is a, a representation of the arrow traffic. So this represents the data coming in. And here is a look at the CSVs that I temporarily generate. So I pull the data, temporarily generate the CSVs, and what we're getting is arrivals and departure information coming in out of Phoenix Airport. So this is the source of these um, large set of data, the 189,000 records, and I'm able to push these in through the straight API or send them in through the bulk API with the CSVs. So now what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be taking a look at a streaming insight and what it takes to create that. So what we're gonna do is I have an existing streaming insight. What we're gonna be doing is building a new one up, but let's take a look at this. We're gonna build a new one up, but then look at my existing one. So here's a calculated insight. We're gonna hit new. We're gonna pick the data space. We're gonna pick a streaming insight. And this is the syntax. It wants you to pull the aggregation with a window. This is the time of the date of the data coming in. The data is coming, the window of the start and the window of the end of the data that's coming in through the API. And what we're going to be doing is it's going to, we're going to have to map this. So let's first target the object we're pulling from. And I found that if I come here, highlight it, and hit insert, now we have our object. What we're going to be doing is we need the date time of the data. And so we're gonna then come back to the data. We're gonna choose our date time, which right now we have the traffic date time. We're gonna insert that there. And so this is, then we're gonna pick an interval and number of minutes. So we'll pick five minute. And then the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna to need to have both a measure and a dimension. So we're gonna pull a dimension, which will be, let's have the arriving airport arrival airport iCal and we need to make sure that we have a target with that same name so you take that field name and you use it as your dimension name you must have that alias added on and now we need an aggregation and what we can do is we can add a count star and we're going to give it a, a name now the name must have an underscore underscore c so we're going to go count underscore c so what we're going to be doing in this streaming insight is we're going to be looking at all the arrival airports within a five minute window coming in and what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be grouping them by the arrival airport iCal. And so this, we need to make sure, because it's one of our um, measures, dimensions, it needs to be down here in the grouping. So what we have right here is we're gonna have the, the measure right here, the dimension here. We have our calculated start and end windows. We're pulling from a certain object, in this case, my arrow object. And then what we're doing is we're grouping by the time and we're grouping by the measure. Let's go ahead and check the syntax. 
and we do have valid syntax here. Let's call it test um, SI, test one. And what we're gonna do is you can take this same syntax right here, and I like to test it in Postman first. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going to Postman, and I've shown in previous Postmans that you need to authenticate and exchange and then run a query. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running this query. Here is a key, is I paste the query in as its full calculate streaming insight. What I do is get rid of the things that won't calculate. This streaming insight start and end windows won't work. So now what we're gonna do is just tailor this down to a very clean SQL statement that is essentially the same thing, but minus the windowing. And so now what we have is the select count, we have the dimension, we have the measure, and the group. And so now what we can do is run. And what we now have is we have a grouping by arrival airport. So this shows us the validity of this SQL statement. So now we know with this SQL statement, in addition to the windowing, with the window start, window end, and the window grouping, we now will have a valid syntax. And what we can do is save and run. And so this is a streaming insight. Now you have to feed in data, um, and when you do, then you should be able to see the last run, and you'll see that when data is coming in, you go to Calculated Insights, there's SI Test, and we'll be able to see the streaming. And we're gonna be looking at wiring this up to data action targets and data actions in sec secondary videos. But for right now, this is how you create a streaming insight um, from your data stream. So you've brought your data in through your, you define the streaming API, you bring your data in, and you can use your calculated insights for large calculations. Your streaming insights allow you to grab smaller blocks of calculations and then be able to create actions on them. And I'm gonna be showing those in subsequent videos. So this is the syntax for creating streaming AP streaming insights. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for joining streaming the insights. Join me again, same bad time, same bad channel on www.stevetechark.com and YouTube Steve Tech Arc. And I hope you're enjoying. Thank you very much.